I feel bad about the Lily Orchard stuff because I just don't think they're that stable. The, I ha There's nothing I can say about Lily Orchard that's not either very mean or very, very condescending. Apparently she made a video on me. I haven't even seen it. Okay, can I just get to the part where it mentions me? Is that fine? Okay, we're just going to do that. I'm just going to respond to that. Why not? It's been a little while since we went over a video that was defamatory. All right, all right. Who is Lily Orchard? Lily Orchard is a... Um... Yeah. Person? Like, let's be honest, hypothetical Voshite in the comments hurriedly tabbing away. That's me. Uh, she, her, by the way. From AO3's race play tag. Hey, what? what? You guys aren't looking up race play erotica, are you? You wouldn't be doing that to your old man, would you? Mm. Why do you have this? Were you really alt right? Were you at Charlottesville? Were you stalking people on Kiwi Farms? Were you retweeting libs of TikTok as she threatened child hospitals? Were you the one threatening children's hospitals? Were you actively pedo jacketing trans women? Or did you just scroll through Twitter nodding along with edge lords? I'm still pedo jacketing trans women. <laughs> no. No, 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 Bonnie, we're not doing that today. Put the regular music back on. Don't give me that look, just do it. No DMCA, no copyright. Was all that super recent? I assume the point she's making is that I didn't actually de-radicalize anyone from being all right because you guys weren't literally at Charlottesville. I have, however, gotten emails from people who are at Charlottesville who have thanked me for de-radicalizing them. So, I mean... Not that many point were at not that many people were at Charlottesville. Like the total number of subs that I have is many times larger than the number of people who went to Charlottesville. So, yeah, okay. I know her. She wronged me, which makes her a bad person. A couple of no. years ago, I made a video about Hi. the then topical controversy surrounding ContraPoints freely working with violent bigots and getting really sniffy when other trans people thought that was a bad idea. True. Now, ContraPoints got in trouble at least twice after that, and there was a big blow up when Lindsay Ellis got in trouble for being really sniffy about people complaining about a racist take and rage quit her job. But Okay, I right. So Lily Orchard's that kind of person. Remember the drama that got that kicked that got Lindsay Ellis to leave the Internet? Because people started harassing her for a bunch of stuff, including Archie made after being raped. Because she said she didn't like the Disney movie that was like the Avatar The Last Airbender, but worse. She, she's one of those people. She's like essentially like the epitome of everything that causes infighting within the lefty community and like the progressive community. Uh, the benefit with Lily Orchard, though, is that she's insane enough that people kind of like know it's her. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, right? It's like, um, like, 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 it's like, oh, it's not, it's not lefties mad at me. It's like Lily Orchard, you know? She also said this about you. Is this the one where she said she wishes I was dead? Someone really needs to kill Vosh. And that someone, Lily Orchard, is you. All right? 1v1 me. Okay? You've got, you've got even odds. All right? I've got a bad ankle and I've got a chest injury. But I'm also like, 250 pounds. Come at me. It's you. It's you. You're the chosen one. Step up to the plate. I never made videos after that, despite people in my audience wanting me to. And the reason for that is that this video was the culmination of a lot of frustration with someone I had thought was a progressive ally, whereas all the instances that came later didn't have that same frustration because I no longer felt that either of these people, or any of the people getting in trouble since then- Didn't she try to entrap a person? Didn't she, like, give them a laptop with CP on it? Well, didn't she, like, spend two years writing, like, CP erotica or something? I don't fucking know. Dude, D L L Lily Orchard is, like, one of the, like, primeval lol cows, okay? If we spend all day going over the shit she's done, we will literally never watch the video, okay? Let me just, let me just get through this. This is, it's, le it, we're literally talking about someone who's near Chris Chan in terms of, like, logged internet wacky behavior.
Um, like, like it, imagine like watching a video and someone makes a Chris Chan joke. People are like, D uh, dude, didn't didn't Chris Chan make like that medallion? And you're like, oh fuck, oh my god. And you're like, all right, so okay. Back in back in 1997, when this began, it, you know, it, yeah, there's no, you can't. Let's just start where we are, okay? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And were anything other than performers. So let's talk about that. So back in 2019, there was a storm in a teacup when ContraPoints did a video with Buck Angel, a notorious trans medicalist. This was coming off the heat of several years of ContraPoints. I did a video with what actually happened was Buck Angel read a six second snippet from a quote from John Waters in a video that was an hour and a half long. ...points engaging in what I like to call J.K. Rowling politics, where she views conservatives as sincere but wrong and progressives as dishonest and hiding an agenda. I feel it's a little more... Does she? Is that a thing? Okay. Nuance than that, Lil. Yeah, but that's the general gist of it, otherwise we'd be here all day. While the version of this story right. Wynn's remaining fan base tends to go with is that she was cancelled for a single mistake, people had been growing increasingly discontented with her for a long time. And the problem is that we all just ostensibly assumed that because she was a trans woman, that she was as much of a true lefty socialist as the rest of us and ignored her when she- I don't think she ever said she was a socialist? Or even a lefty? I think she would just make videos that were like- Pretty good and progressive, and social democrat oriented. And that that was it. But where, yeah, where'd her nose go? Did you guys hear what Contra said about Vosh on Twitter? That was so fucked up of her. I, an unaffiliated third party, am outraged on Vosh's behalf she made it clear that she wasn't. And this has been a recurring theme regarding much of BreadTube for a long time. Bread you 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 might notice a recurring pattern in this video. I assume. Um, which is that there's only one true lefty, and it's Lily Orchard, who is herself not a lefty, curiously enough. W when do I get involved? Debate bros. Okay, guys, we only have a minute more before we get to the cool part, all right? Also, who the fuck canceled H-Bomb? Has H-Bomb ever been in trouble? What? Hold on. H-Bomber guy... Controversy? What is he even... Like, he... My man keeps his nose clean. Rational wiki? If it was anywhere, it would be here. Apologism for sexual harassment. On April 6th, 2017, he was banned from late-stage capitalism because some friend of a Discord mod said a thing that he apologized. What? Okay, I don't even... Oh, here's the issue. When he did his Mermaids fundraiser stream, you can take a look at the people who came on during that time, and I'm not there. Wait, John Romero went on that? Did I ever tell you guys that I was briefly followed by Grant Kirkhope on Twitter after I did the um, fundraiser stream where I played Banjo-Kazooie and it was the best moment of my life and then he unfollowed me, I think, because people DM'd him saying I was a pedophile? That was cool. RedTube was viewed as this resurgence of left-wing YouTube in the face of a rising issue of right-wing debate bro channels. This happened because they started out with making fun of the likes of Davis Arini, Thunderfoot, and Sargon of Akkad, who were relatively easy targets for anyone to make fun of. Oh, of course he has a trilby, of course, why wouldn't he? I mean, what else would you hang on your novelty toy skull? $15,000? Now, I feel like I and the rest of my video-watching compatriots kind of jumped the gun. Making fun of conservatives is easy. Hell, conservatives could make fun of conservatives before they all got obsessed with things getting woke. This wasn't a difficult thing to do, and while a handful of bread tubers have largely stayed on the path of leftist politics, those tend to be the ones for whom they were a genuinely held passion. But even- But Sean makes fun of right-leaning people all the time, and H-Bomb does media videos, mostly. And I don't really watch Thoughts Lime. Who's the person with the X over their mouth again? This is Nanners. This is very Nanners. Innuendo Studios, that's right. They don't like me. Even they aren't immune to criticism, and even they don't have perfect leftist theory. For the rest, it always came down to the inevitable push and pull between ostensibly leftist politics Get to and the cool content part. farming. For Where am I? Left Tube was similar to the cartoon community in that on YouTube, it's a relatively niche environment with only a handful of standouts. There can only be one. Innuendo Studios blocked the entire mod team for calling him out. Wait, his own mod team or my mod team? What did Innuendo Studios say about you? I think, if I remember correctly, uh, Innuendo Studios is racist and wants to say the N-word. And I said you shouldn't do that, man. Trust me, it's a dark road.
And he was like, no, I want to say it lots. And also, I have many other slurs I want to say. And then he blocked me on Twitter. I'm pretty sure that's how it went down. It was a while ago, but you don't have to, you don't have to verify that. I'm pretty sure that's about it. H-Bomber guy or Phantom Strider, and the rest mostly mill about picking up the scraps. And I say this as a proud scrap picker yeah, myself. Russell. But what inevitably <laughs> happens when a community of content creators establishes itself is that everyone comes in looking for their little piece of the clout pie. True. There's a common discussion nowadays regarding debating the alt-right, or rather, just the right. People will say that it helps debunk conservative thought, but that's always been a very tenuous leg to stand on. It's what conservatives used to say about debating feminists, and what atheists used to say about debating creationists. Yeah. But conservatives debating feminists ended up heralding one of the biggest and most influential ages of conservative politics on YouTube. Remember the post-Gamergate era, where conservatives would try in bad faith to constantly debate feminists, and they ended up getting really powerful and influential and, like, controlled the entire platform? Guys, remember how the entire mo rise of modern secularism corresponded with the New Atheist Movement? where people like Richard Dawkins got really fucking annoying online, in large part because they were willing to directly debate religious people. Isn't it crazy how all these really influential social movements end up corresponding to a willingness to directly engage with your opposition? You can't destroy a school of thought by owning one guy with facts and logic. If no, but you can own one guy with facts and logic by owning one guy with facts and logic. I don't think the goal is to single-handedly destroy a school of thought in a single debate. What even are Lily Orchard's politics? Uh, better than yours. That's her politics. If you could, they would have died out a long time ago. It's that old Steven Universe problem where you have an ex- Of course we'd have to make a fucking Steven Universe comparison. In a fucking Lily Orchard. Okay extremely simplistic solution to a problem, and yet you simultaneously believe it's so complicated that you're the first person to think about it. Ben Shapiro is not the supreme leader of fascism, but that doesn't stop everyone debating him 17 times a day. Why? What? Wait, what is the, what is the argument here? What? Wait, 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 wait. What point are we arriving at right now? What are we, what are we talking about? What? Debate? isn't worthwhile because here are examples of debates that went really well for the ideology doing the debates, and also debates aren't worthwhile because you can't single-handedly destroy an ideology in a single fell swoop, all right? Um, I, because it's easy. It's easy content. It's an easy true. content farm. You true. don't have to do much, and you don't have to be very smart, and true. that's the debate bro grift. It true. It's always been the debate bro grift. But the problem is that any audience who likes debates as content won't stick around for the same easy targets, so instead they have to make more reaches. Hey, four years and running, baby. Let's go. Four more years. Let's go. I don't even know if this applies to me because I feel like I barely do debates these days. I've maintained that debates are only worthwhile if the opposition actually cares about the positions they're stating. If you're having a debate with somebody who's just there to scream and it literally does not matter what they or you say, uh, there's probably not much of a point, you know? Debate more asshole. Hey, hey guys, remember how I used to do debates that I would pull people in from the audience? And then remember when I said I can't do that anymore because you guys will just troll and you just want to get, fucking get the attention of talking to me? And then I, on a whim, did one debate that I pulled from chat and it was a troll that I immediately worked out. And then later I did a debate over email that also ended up being a troll from a fan who wanted my attention. You guys ruined this for yourself. Legit, there are probably hundreds of good debates we could have had, but you attention whores with no father figures keep ruining things because you want five seconds of talking to me. Ian Kaczynski made a name. That's me! Why you cover up my beautiful eyes? Name for himself debating the alt-right in an extremely edgy fashion, utilizing slurs and large screaming utilizing slurs yeah this is a powerful opponent i'm gonna have to use my sharingan technique my the pupil of my eye widens and then morphs into the shape of an n mean declarations but as his audience became increasingly bored of it he had to branch out when did wait 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 my audience hasn't gotten bored of me doing debates. They want me to do more. They've done the opposite. I I got bored of the same debates over and over again. <laughs> and they keep they keep asking me to do more. They're not bored of debates. They're bored of me. <laughs> the problem was he didn't really have a praxis outside of class reductionism and calling people nuts. 
Class reductionism? Me? Me? <laughs> what? I I'm the I've spent my entire time arguing with class reductionist lefties. All right. We can just say anything on this platform. Vosh, known for class reductionism. Why do you do that face? Dude, the soy face is fantastic. I'm not like some insecure dipshit like Andrew Tate who can only do my blue steel face 24-7, okay? I'll give you the goofy faces that I know will be screenshotted. I don't give a fuck. <gasps> Speaking of goofy. Nazis, and when he did branch out, he ended up just calling people Nazis. Any concept that was more complicated to him than- Wait! How can I be a class reductionist, but also do debates where I argue that other people want to do ethnic... Wouldn't that be a non-class? Okay. Nazis bad, working class good would inevitably be filtered through increasingly unhinged hypothetical... Working class good? Wait, Nazis bad, working class good? That's true, though. <laughs> Wait, that's... <laughs> That's true. I stand by that perspective. I, I hold to that, yes. Vosh, with his ridiculous Nazis bad, working class good dogma. Leftist, by the way. ...to worm the subject back to that framework. Most infamously, when he screeched accusations of white genocide at a black woman's sight unseen for arguing about land back, which... I'll do it again. By land back, by the way, she meant the ethnic cleansing of six million white South Afrikaners. Uh, I'll do it again. Find me another black woman. Bring them to me. Which is the return of stolen land to indigenous people, which, if you live in the United States or Canada right now, is the land currently under your feet. This has been a running... Uh, but quick reminder, by the way, that the, um, the characterization of land back as the forced deportation of white people is a white supremacist fear-mongering tactic that actual land back advocates have spent literal centuries arguing against, and then people like Professor Flowers come in and fuck it all up by pretending to understand land back issues and making that direct association. The people who say land back means white people kicked out are historically white supremacists, and PF runs up and goes, yeah, actually, no, 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 that's true, and it's a good thing. Real indigenous advocates do not say that. You can check their websites, their videos, they really don't because they know it'll never happen and that it's morally wrong to push for anyway. Because ethnic cleansing is actually bad. <laughs> ...problem with Ian in that when it comes to white people, he wants all that uwu democratic socialism. But when it comes to anyone else, he's usually... It's like this was made by, um, an AI chatbot. Who wrote this script? Really all about mass ethnic cleansing. Jewish people living on stolen land and doing ethnic cleansing, he wants to nuke the civilians. White people living on stolen land and doing ethnic cleansing, well, stopping him from doing that is hurting him specifically, so he doesn't like that. But we were talking about South Africa. She thinks the nuke joke was serious? Yeah, the joke. <laughs> the Israel thing wasn't about colonization. The, I, honestly, I reject the colonizer dynamic right now for America and uh, for South Africa. If you're white in America or South Africa, you're not a colonizer because your ancestors, 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 and so okay. To be clear, in America today, for most white people, in order for you to be called a colonizer, like on an ancestry basis, we would have have to go back three to four generations. In South Africa, you would have to go back dozens. White South Africaners have been there for centuries. Uh, it, like, um, at least Amer white Americans didn't reach the West Coast until, like, the mid-19th century, more or less. Uh, <laughs> so there's a, you go back farther, way farther for South Africa. Lefties misuse the term colonizer. Um, so, so, so often. It's really, really stupid. What's happening in Israel, though, is, like, right now, currently. Do you think white people are implicated regardless? No. Absolutely not. You are not implicated because of your race. That's really fucking dumb. This class first socialism has always been What? She, she, she keeps describing my positions that are on things other than class and then calling it class. How, how am I class reduction? How? If I'm class reductionist, then literally everybody else is more class reductionist than me. Certainly Professor Flowers. Professor Flowers is far more class reductionist than I am extremely vulnerable to this kind of white supremacist thinking. And make no mistake, Ian is a white supremacist. You can sure. make all the ooh-woo wise of the poetelliate speeches you want, accusing people of color of wanting to genocide white people or... What? 
that's not a class reductionist take, though. And I just think Professor Flowers wants to genocide white people. She did want to do that. Why am I a Pokemon guy? What is happening in this video? Suggesting that there's merit to the conspiracy theory that Jewish people control global banking is pretty f When the fuck did I say that? Holy shit, it's like a game of telephone. Um, oh my god. These goddamn people. Yeah, the non-compete. From the guy who said maybe the Nazis have a point. Fucking telling. If you're too this is about as bad as that DJ Mule video. Um, yeah, but I expect this from Lily Orchard. That's why I can't take it too seriously. It's Lily fucking Orchard, right? Young, those are both things she did. Ian is a grifter. He does all- What? There's merit to the conspiracy theory that Jewish people control global banking. It's pretty fucking telling. If you're too young, those are both things she did. C citation needed? Don't believe I said that? Oh god, that's so stupid. It is It is kind of funny how you can tell that this video was made by and for people who are operating on, like, a preteen intellectual wavelength. Like, the Pokemon cartoon googly eyes. I feel like I'm being patronized to, or like I'm seeing a political beef. I, I feel like I'm seeing, in a like, an adult try to describe a political belief they have to a toddler using the, like, um, the little dangly things they have over the crib. You know what I mean? Ian is a grifter. He does all True. of this for content and money. He True. isn't very smart. True. He isn't politically motivated. True. And he's a very emotionally stunted white man with True. all of the opinions of someone who didn't get beaten up enough in high school. But because True. he's sometimes... But you're the one, Lily Orchard. You're the one, huh? You're the one, aren't you? Someone has to take me out. It's gotta be you. This is your chance. Email me. We'll set it up. Chess boxing with a mentally ill trans woman. <laughs> As I gotta make my claim. Look, it's it's gone so well for for fucking Logan Paul or whatever. Okay, in the ring, you and I've spent the past like eight months training. I'm just like Hulk the fuck out. I've been doing t uh, T cycles, so I'm roided up. You can see thick veins bulging out of my neck. I don't even know what Lily Orchard looks like. I, 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 I can't imagine that she has veins bulging out of her neck. Maybe says all the right socialist words that would have been considered radical back in the Gilded Age, he got to enjoy a huh? position of clout among the rest of Left Tube, who have largely ignored his fascist leanings. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really does feel like it's constructed by an AI, doesn't it? I have always been a big proponent of understanding- Yeah, how can I be fascist but also class reductionist? I don't understand. Um, fascists are the opposite of class reductionists because they hyper fixate on ethnic. Why do I keep getting called class reductionist, but then also being said I'm a white supremacist? That doesn't make any sense. I'm not a class reductionist then. What? The difference between stated politics and actual politics. Ian's Wikipedia page has to clarify his politics as self-described left wing. That's how bad he is. Isn't that how they talk about ideological leanings? Don't they all say that? Like, wait, if I look up the Wikipedia for thought slime. Oh. There is no Wikipedia for Thought Slime. Sorry. Wikipedia Innuendo Studios. There is. I actually didn't expect one. Uh, Ian Danskin. American YouTuber produced the Innuendo Studios, where he discusses politics from a left-wing perspective. Oh! From a left-wing perspective. I guess that technically does sound a little bit more authoritative than self-described left-wing YouTuber. Looks like I'm taking the L on this one, boys. Wikipedia also lists Kyle Kalinske's political position as self-described left-leaning as well. feel like this might be sort of an editorial flourish. Self-described left-wing populist. Oh, well, it would be the difference of what their ideology is versus um, what, uh, what perspective... Wait, hold on. What's the largest left-leaning person we can find? Slavoj Zizek Wikipedia. No way it says described as, because he's like an actual academic, right? They would say like, yeah, he made the branch, or he said this, or he wrote this. Lula? Wait, no, we're talking about theorists like myself. Oh, Hassan Piker? Hassan Piker, Wikipedia. Nope, it's all over, guys. They describe him as a left-wing political commentator.
It's all over. We're not actually leftist. We lost. Wikipedia has condemned us. Done dirty. Colossal L. You can get it changed, I think. I don't care. <laughs> Check back to your page. Ah, there we go. An American left-wing YouTuber and Twitch streamer known for debating and discussing politics online from a libertarian socialist perspective. There we go. Looks like somebody cleared up a few typos. The timeline has been restored. Thank you to Lily Orchard for, uh, for pointing out this error. ...at being left-wing. We all just have to take his word for it most of the time. Give people a True. enough time, they'll show you who they are. You just have to stop ignoring it. See, the thing about... Con four years. Four years. ...contrapoints is flagrant courting of right-wing figureheads like Buck Angel and Blair White and the deriding of trans people pushing for visibility as radicals is that ContraPoints was doing what a lot of bread tubers do, positioning where she was politically, philosophically, and socially as the Overton window and everything to the left of her... Can we agree that this is psychotic enough that there's not really much of a point in covering the whole video? I just wanted to see the stupid shit she would say about me. I see that if I go far enough down, I see my handsome face again. What, what do we say here? Self-centered, egotistical version of- That's me! Of socialism and its viewers, simply by virtue of the fact that many card-carrying socialist content creators have inoculated their viewers to be violently opposed- Wait, I have a card? Wait, I'm card-carrying socialist? I thought I was self-described left-leaning. ...opposed to anyone who pressures them to actually uphold socialist values. The end result is people who view politics not as a strategic move on a chessboard, but as a declaration of your own moral goodness. And this par- Coming from Lily Orchard. Okay. ...parasocial specifically. It all just kind of bleeds together into a big bullshit. The whole point of cancel culture is that when people are being actually criticized over things they actually did, you will connect that legitimate criticism, shouty and rude as it might be, to- The edit was made on the 21st of November, by the way, before the video came out. Wait, you guys didn't live edit the change to my Wikipedia article that it actually already said I was left-leaning? What? Well, that's weird. Those other things. Cancel culture is about blurring the line between criticism and harassment so that when you see the full make those groups feel unwelcome in my spaces or around my work, you've done to your brazenly 100% clear that- Is there like- Is there like a name for the kind of person who's so emotionally regressed that they just live eternally in- Okay, I, this- this is like embarrassing for me a little bit, okay? I like watching all-ages cartoons because sometimes they're huge bops. Like, The Last Airbender is an all-ages cartoon that's also arguably one of the greatest pieces of animated media ever made. There's something about this, though. This is like one of those embarrassment by association kind of dealios, though. Probably in, in doing in the part that I know this person wrote, like, a pedophilic My Little Pony fanfic for multiple years of her finite existence. I don't... When I see these these videos that are interlaced with all of this, like... Is there a word for, like, self-grooming? I feel like the the Lily Orchard, Ego, Super Ego, and Id are, like, in a three-way grooming relationship. I have no idea, man. <laughs> do, you, do you know what I mean? There's, it's, it's like some recursive... It, please, I don't have the words for this. Do you know what I'm talking about here? A little bit? I hope somebody here gets what I'm talking about, because I genuinely do not know how, how better to get at it. A cartoon adult in the worst way possible. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. There's just something... I don't know. ...that they're doing so in bad faith. I think... Lose is cool, though. If anything, if someone is bringing something you've done to your attention, rather than make a clickbait YouTube video about it, that's generally an indication... <laughs> what? The talk section on your Wikipedia is amazing. Isn't Vosh pronounced as Vosh? The Wikipedia article claims that Vosh is pronounced like Vosh. This is incorrect because Vosh is pronounced as Vosh by the majority of people, including Ian. Proof. Vosh pronounces his name like Vosh most of the time. I can't recall a time he said Vosh when it's not implied he's joking. Counterproof. At 11 seconds, 17, 37, 59, 225, 227, 236, 417, 533, 1016, 1205, 1415, 1448. Hmm. I could go on, but there's plenty of evidence to support that Vosh, the correct pronunciation, Good luck, you guys. I love you, okay? My 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 glorious Voshite autists in the deep mines of Wikipedia protecting me. Bring in the goddamn receipts. Ah, all the effort I put in, I put in archiving every time he said his own name has finally come to pass. 
my 876 page Google document in four point font is finally going to be of use. I, I do love you guys. I'm not making fun of you. I mean, I am, but I love you. And that they already trust you to take it seriously. They already believe it's a sincere mistake. They're what already doing giving again? you the benefit of the doubt. They wouldn't be talking to you otherwise. And I think that's the only real value person slash big too. Cancel culture harassing fucking breath. It's a mostly history channel, which YouTube already of left tube trying to recruit Nazis, and I've kept his video in my mind while I was writing parts of this, but all of her other videos are great, and honestly, I think he's just swell. And lastly, knowing better. It's a mostly history channel, which YouTube already loves, but also talks about other issues like the capitalist hellhole related. Wait, I like knowing better. Hold on. Being recommended by Lily Orchard has to mean there's something that I don't know. Is knowing better a pedophile? <laughs> no, knowing better fucking slaps. I love his videos. Um, maybe this might be a broken clock incident on uh, Lily Orchard's part. No, no, no. I really like Knowing Better, yeah. Interestingly enough, Knowing Better's worst video on Columbus years ago produced Bad Empanada's best video uh, a while afterwards. Um, so there's kind of like an interesting yin-yang dynamic there, which is kind of cool, I guess. And he apologized? Yeah, no, Knowing Better's great. I really like him, yeah. Living in police militarization. It's a left-wing channel that doesn't do class reductionism, which is... What? What does that mean to her? Okay. Knowing Better does have a great channel. The recent video on uh, Indian removal uh, was, was bop. The video on neo-slavery, man. Oh, my God. That was some wacky stuff. Really wacky. Super wacky.